Hey everybody, this is Gary Garrick. Um, <laughs> most of you know I'm a uh, Mustang aficionado and I like to collect cars. Well, this is one of the cars I picked up about five months ago. Uh, it's a 2000 Ford Mustang GT convertible. Uh, when I got this car, um, it was Disaster City, and I'm not kidding when I say Disaster City. So, basically what you're looking at is a 2000 Ford Mustang GT convertible uh, with the 4.6 liter 2 valve 4.6 motor. Um, the car went through, I paid about six grand for the car, and it's gone through, I want to say, $5,000 in restoration work, which, yes... It does negate the current market value of the car but as you can see the car has had a fresh base coat clear coat paint job which includes five coats of base and about six coats of clear so you can actually look at the finish and see that it's got a nice thick clear coat job uh, the vehicle is sporting OE racing bullet replica wheels in an 18 by 10 format on the back sporting Eagle F1 supercar 285 4018s it is also running on Ford racing lowering springs uh, on the front it is running 18 by 9 OE wheel bullet replicas and I put in a Celera PHI 255 4018 tire on this car. Uh, the reason I went is I was trying to keep the budget uh, within five grand, so I had to do separate tires. Uh, I got the rears for 250 for the set, and I got the fronts for 150, and I picked up the rims for about 400 and change. Uh, the front is rocking Axiom smoked OE style headlights. The hood pins were a uh, previous owner install and I wasn't able to get a new hood in order to um, replace it so it didn't have it. The front grille is a aftermarket delete system and the previous owner also put on the Mach 1 chin spoiler. And just to give you a good better idea this is how the paint job looks going down the side of the car. And the back tail lights were replacement. They were oxidized pretty bad along with the third brake light. Tail lights came out of a wrecked 2004. And the third brake light is an OEM LED special. And yes, my license plate does say too slow to go. <laughs> um, as I said, this vehicle went through a heavy amount of restoration work. The previous owner actually had spray painted the interior of this car in a blue color. Um, I went to multiple junkyards uh, to buy new panel inserts for the doors uh, well replacements the center console piece uh, the shifter bezel and we put a new steering wheel in it he did the white face gauges um, the vehicle this believe it or not does have working air conditioning it came equipped with the Mach 460 stereo system although he changed over the head unit to a Pioneer both airbags work. I put a brand new convertible top on this car. Uh, this vehicle actually sports 260 horsepower and new when it came from the factory sold at the dealer for about $25,000. So um, we'll pop the hood open and you can take a little look in here but let me discuss some other things that uh, were nice about this car. Um, I did an, it had a Flowmaster exhaust kit system on it, but he had four inch extension tips. So while the kit wasn't in too bad a shape, I actually just opted to replace the whole exhaust from the headers back. So new catalytic converters, everything. Um, my ex brother in law and I actually put on new power steering pump. I just did new pulleys, which I'll discuss. Uh, we replaced the interior carpeting. A little hard to tell but it is replaced and in awesome shape the floor mats are what was in the car when I got them I just never replaced them with OEM these are the original seats that were in the car as you can see they're in very good condition uh, the only bad part is that speaker cover has come off and there it is and I'm gonna fix it uh, my torque bar as I said it was working on the car today 
but uh, the previous owner also installed the light bar which doesn't even light and he's the one that drilled that in which I'm not too happy about to say so and that light that's on the floor over there hard to see because it's black but it's down in there uh, is actually what attaches to it um, as you can see the paint line is right here from the paint job I had this shot at a Mako in Hatboro Pennsylvania um, this car, the irony in this is that um, right after the car was painted, three days later I got rear-ended. Um, it was pretty severe. It was enough to uh, tweak the frame a bit. As you can see how close that is there. And if you follow it over to the other side, you can see that it's a little gapped. Um, the deck lid needs a, an adjustment and it'll come right up because um, if you see here it's you can see my finger drop off so it just needs to have the deck lid pulled back uh, and then everything will be fine but um, after the car was uh, hit I opted to re reshoot the car again um, so that's where it got the heavier base coat clear coat finish um, and the only other the only hiccup that uh, it had from that was it had a paint run right here um, so unfortunately not much you can do about it but you can see the run and uh, you know I mean it could have been fixed we could have reshot the bumper but then we're back to square one on how it would have looked um, alright so let's open the hood 